Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Join in. Join in. Welcome to Cat Ninjas. Welcome to Cat Ninjas. So here we go. So as usual, at two in the afternoon, we generally do the LRDI, and at ten in the night, so we are doing the, some of the impactful quantitative topics. So here we come. So it's continuation of previous lecture, but then yes, today we focus more on the approaches. Yesterday we focus more on the basics, and we kind of learnt about. How many regions would be there in the Venn diagram? That's what one point that we learned yesterday. That's one of the parameters we learned, and then we also looked at hey, how to quickly draw the Venn diagrams for two, three, and four. All right, and also we examined some of the important keywords. All right, now especially the keyword only. How only affects the absence of only means at least one. The presence of only means exactly all right, exactly versus at least. Right, now, these are the two keywords. That we kind of discussed yesterday. Uh, it's a continuation from there, and also we looked at that a classical way of filling the Venn diagram is inside out. So we generally fill it inside out, and we will learn today some two or three important parameters. Then maybe by tomorrow we'll be getting little bit into the zonal theorem, the maxima minima. So that that might take another three lectures because there is so much of spectrum to cover out there. Let's keep these guidelines in mind from the yesterday. And if somebody has not seen the yesterday's video. probably this could be after today's lecture or whenever it is feasible just watch that particular video because that sets a good foundation solid foundation for our further learning okay on this note quickly confirm some of you those who are there in the meeting meanwhile i will check from my end as well just confirm that audio videos is visuals are clear all is good just confirm from the other end that yes we are all good to go good to start okay yeah good afternoon good afternoon kevel kevel is here and vipul is here nihar all right all clear fair perfect perfect already right. you guys settle down with a book and a pen maybe already it's important that you settle down with a book and a pen and probably as they're running notes you can go through or you can you know meanwhile let me quickly introduce myself for any new learners out here on the platform yeah i am belvi srinivas i worked in the various test prep industries since 2007 that's about 14 years now and various capacities both in the administration side as well as on the training side training both students as well as the mentors in various areas especially for a period of time i learned how to train students in the areas of qa di and lr so if you want to interface with me i'm a good counselor as well with respect to your studies and which colleges to apply not to apply such areas so i developed i counseled so many students in the last 14 years and thereby i also gained some certain amount of understanding about how students mature in their skills so you want to you want to all it on the counseling front you can use this particular telegram id and then you can reach out to me uh, this underlined one this is l that is not i so if you put the i probably it will bounce back so that is l the small case l so that's how you can reach out to me as well so quick announcements before we start now this is the season of applying to the colleges etc yes if you are looking for the structured courses cat 21 cat 22 whatever you are preparing for this is plus like plus is what we talk about for the structured car classes so it can be structured weekly test it can be a structured course material you might talk about the structured course of doing it so all that comes with a plus subscription and uh, the iconic all right this is iconic subscription the iconic subscription gives you more uh, one to one interface right it's more to do with the one to one it can be setting your study plan based on your own swot somebody will help you to set up the study plan or it could be with respect to the mentor or it can be with respect to the test analysis test scores are not improving facing certain issues different people face issues because of different reasons there is no one reason which fits many yeah there are common common reasons but then minute reasons are different so therefore the test analysis is done to help you to understand that and it could be on the colleges to fill the forms while filling the forms you might have to write certain questions the answers uh, answer to certain questions so people will help you in in preparing the responses to it so on and so forth it's more to do with that one to one interface 
uh, this is the plus subscription uh, sub plus subscription these are the kind of uh, kind of uh, enrollment structure so you have six month structure you have a 18 month structure and 24 month structure so these are the uh, these are the listed prices and on these listed prices if you use Belvi 100 you will get 10 percent discount whatever be the prices listed there you get about that and the iconic subscription it comes with it, it appears to be a little bit premium because there is a lot of one-to-one -one interactions which are involved there and iconic comes with this kind of listed prices there are again three types of subscription six months 12 months and 24 months as i already mentioned it comes with live one-to-one -one doubt solving as well you might have a doubt from one of the test series or something and which you would like to speak and clarify and have a meeting in connection there so one-to-one -one concept discussions as well so you are not able to cope up in rcs or you are not able to cope up in algebra or whatever it is so that's one-to-one -one interface would come there and b school guidance etc etc is given so this is about the iconic subscription so on iconic subscription as well on the listed prices you get about 10 percent discount when you use this particular code yeah so on all these prices whatever we spoke about they are set to go up from 16th of this particular month they're set to go up and if you are trying to register planning for one or let it you can think within that particular time and get the benefit of it fair enough so that brings us to the lecture so as i complete the announcements let's focus on to the lecture hi everyone i think so who all have joined in between deborah jyoti has joined anybody joined in between you can just quickly share the greetings and we can go on to the lecture we can move to the lecture so anybody joined in between this so while i was trying to make these quick announcements so you can quickly share the greetings and we can move on and uh, you can keep your book and pen ready Keep your book, keep your pen, keep those things ready there. And we are good to go. All right, from there we are set to go. Uh, yes, all right, I'll give two minutes reflection time on this just to understand that how do you approach this, right? Now, this is a very uh, a scaled down version of a cat set. Scaled down version. I will not call this as a cat set. It's a scaled down. So we will see the cat sets as we go along. It's a scaled down version, right? Uh, one scaled down. This is a scaled down version of a cat set how do you approach this you can take about two minutes and you can read this and you can just get that approach I, i'm not expecting that you close it in two minutes that's too tight that's too tight yeah how do you approach this particular set decide that parameter in about two minutes time i want you to decide how you approach it go ahead very cryptic set it's a scaled down version of cat set read questions read data and check how do you proceed on this. Okay, fine. All right. So let us do it together. If I give a little more time, you will close it because this set only takes three to four minutes to close, right? In the half the time I already gave, three to four minutes, we can close the set itself. But listen, but listen, 
right one one way or let now hi devender hi hello yeah so one way people generally do it is what they call this as a b c d e f g and h we already talked about this hey if it is a venn diagram for three there will be two raised to power three regions that is nothing but eight regions and number of regions of one or let how many regions of ones will be there we said that 3c1 which is equal to 3 so the number of regions of twos will be 3c2 or let which would be equal to which would be equal to 3 again and so on. We kind of discussed that already yesterday. I'm not going to touch those parameters once again. But people write this. Now, my point here is do not start with variables. Listen to this very carefully. That's how people make the mistake. The moment you make the variables, put the variables, it will cut down your speed. Okay, does that mean that we don't need any variables? No. Variables is last. Fill as much as possible and then decide what are the variables kind of required there right now because once you look at the questions there is no maxima minima nothing we are still doing the level one level zero to level one kind of question that's why i said that level one it's a scaled down version of a cat set just to illustrate that people have a bad habit of creating variables they will simply write mindlessly this is abc they will write or abc are the regions of ones then they will write xyz these are the regions of twos then they will write all right now k your region of three then they will write something m here okay a b c d e f g h whatever they write never do that never do that more the variables it only cuts down your kind of speed yes it's a foolproof method so whatever the logical methods that we do are nothing but foolproof itself but then it cuts down that then when i should introduce the variables start filling the information when you get stuck now you say that hey now i don't know that is when you kind of create the variables let me illustrate that listen to me very very carefully as i do that first let's write the support information hey what is the support information this is the support guiding like guiding numbers which are the guiding numbers this is the guiding number this is another guiding number this is another guiding number this is another guiding number i said that these are the four guiding numbers these are not the actuals let's not confuse between the actuals versus guiding numbers hey do i have the guiding numbers yeah all guiding numbers are given 60 is given the uh, class has how many students 60 that's been presented to us now look at this 35 students do not play badminton which means the remaining 25 students play badminton god guiding number is given one way of understanding this statement 35 students do not play there were 60 folks 35 don't play then what about the remaining 25 they do play simple they do play there is no choice in the matter where do you put them otherwise if 60 are there totally 60 are there 35 do not play if 35 do not play badminton what about the remaining 25 they do play all right only badminton or along with badminton something else i don't know but they do play badminton for sure minimum badminton they are going to play fair enough that's the meaning of the 35 similarly 33 students do not play chess 33 are not playing chess out of what out of 60 as in a survey of 60 33 are not playing the chess if 33 are not playing the chess what about the remaining 27 they do play chess guiding numbers are given that's my point so instead of giving in a positive tone the guiding numbers have been presented to us in the negative sense fair enough all right let that be let that be now I'll come to the next one 31 students do not play karate out of 60 31 do not play karate then what about the rest here out of 60 karate 31 do not play therefore remaining 29 of them play karate then you go through some of other statements listen all right then finally you come to a place where three students do not play any of the three games fair enough therefore this is three now out of eight numbers i wanted this is one two three four five six seven and this is my eighth number these are the eight actual number out of eight actual numbers i have only one actual number and all guiding numbers none of the actuals are there of course the entire sets are generally about finding these seven active numbers these actuals is what you need to find out now listen to me very very clearly listen to me now don't create variable never never in the exam first go through the information check this let's come to one of the statements 47 students play chess or karate 47 students play now listen to me 47 students play chess or karate means this cell i'm putting the stars chess or karate this cell is also chess or karate ask these students they also play chess or karate these fellows also play chess or karate why because this is under karate what about this they also play chess or karate they also play chess or karate right now all these ones so which means these all stars wherever i put the stars if anybody's name is inside the star which means they play chess or karate now look at this number 47 look at the flip side a lot of people don't look at the flip side what i'm teaching teaching to say teaching here in this particular set look the flips look the flips they only look from the positive perspective but they forgot to forget to see the flip side of that particular story what is the flip side just like you did the flip on 35 
60 when you did, did the flip on 35 you got 25 that's what you wrote there which means there is one side presented there is always a flip side which exists right there is always a flip side which exists similarly out of 60 47 is the real value of all these stars 47 is value of all these stars which means hey what about the remaining 13 what about the remaining 13 remaining 13 is this number where i'm putting a tick and this number why because eight cells together eight cells or we have eight actual cells eight actual cells should add up to 60 60 is nothing but the value of eight cells eight cells add up to 60 out of eight cells adding up to 60 here is my cell number one cell number two cell number three cell number four cell number five cell number six these six cells are adding up to 47 all right these six cells are adding up to 47 okay if they're adding up to 47 what about the remaining two cells the remaining two cells should add up to 13 out of 13 three is already here therefore i can safely write this particular number as 10 did you all get this 10 quickly confirm me that you got this 10 you got this 10 are you able to see the flip side of the information quickly confirm that this 10 is clear this 10 is clear basically i'm saying that you can see the flip side of the figures flip side of the numbers whatever the numbers given there every number has a flip side how much it helps i don't know but i can't stop thinking that i don't want to see the flip side i should keep this word in my mind always see the flip side of the information which means if there one side is head presented we know that there exists a tail on the other side there exists but will it help i don't know but can I take that out of my mind? If there is a head on one side, there is a tail on the other side. That information I, I should not take out of my mind, right? Out of my mind, that should not be. But will it help seeing that, okay, the fly, I'll see the tail on the other side. Will that help me to resolve, resolve the issue? That I'm not sure. That I'm not sure. I'm teaching you that it helps or not. That's a different thing. But flip side is a word which should not be out of your mind. Any number presented in Venn diagram, there is always a flip side. And some people forget that orientation fair enough let's come to this therefore 10 is very clear all right the 10 we got now let me go to the next next piece of information there 10 we got next one next one 43 students play karate or badminton 43 play karate or badminton hey, which are those 43 i'll put the stars here this star badminton they are playing here badminton they are playing here both badminton and karate they are playing here badminton here karate here karate now look at these six stars you may say that sir one of the star number we know forget it that's not required the six stars the value of these six stars is 43 then what about the value of the remaining two ticks? All right, that should be the flip side of this. Out of 60, the value of the six stars. I don't know the breakup of these six stars, but the value of these six stars is nothing but 43. Therefore, the remaining is 17. Out of 17, three is already here. Out of 17, three is already here. Therefore, this particular tick would become 14. This tick would become 14 because we know that eight cells is important. The value of eight cells adds up to 60 because we already studied that yesterday, right? Okay, fair enough. So we got another number. Let me go to the last one now. Similarly, let me go to the last one. 45 students play badminton or chess. Badminton or chess. Okay, where is this 45? 45 is this badminton or chess. This one, this star. And this particular star chess, this is also chess, this is badminton and chess, this is badminton. Now, these six stars in green color suggest 45 students. I don't know the breakup. Two numbers I know out of 45. Two numbers I know. But that doesn't matter. That doesn't mean that remaining four I would be able to find. It simply says that value of these six stars is 45. Therefore, all right, now, therefore, the value of the remaining two ticks should be a complement side of this, which is nothing but 15. Out of 15, three is already here. Three is already here. Therefore, this particular tick has to be remaining 12. This is how you got the regions of ones. Okay, quickly confirm that these this piece of information made sense. How we got our 10, 14, and 12. These numbers are clear to everyone. Before we go on to create the variables. Variables later. First, let's understand the information and represent as much as it could. Clear here. The flip is clear. The word flip is clear. We should always sense the flip side of the information. How much it helps that I don't know. But should I look at the, should I be mindful about the flip side? You should be mindful about the flip side. Flip side, of course, you should be mindful. Now listen to this carefully. Now listen to this, my friends. Listen to this very, very carefully. All of you listen here. Okay. Now let me come back. You may say that, sir, there are still so many unknown numbers here. Correct. There are so many unknown numbers here. Let's go back to the information once again. Let's go back to the information once again. 
So now let's say, all right, now let's go to one of the information. 47 students play chess or karate. So that, all right, now this piece of information, we kind of, all right, now let's, let me go back to this. 47 students play chess or karate. We kind of already looked into this. Okay, let not, not required. Let's go in here. 35 students do not play badminton. Listen to this carefully. Let me go here. So we saw already one positive side of it. What is that? If 25, 35 do not play badminton, 25 right play badminton. That I represented. Now, does this also convey some message that because one side I looked at it. Now, can I see it directly the way author has given? Let's see. 35 students do not play badminton. So all these students play badminton. Red circle. All these fellows play badminton, but 35 do not play badminton, which is that I will put the stars. These are the people who do not play badminton. I'm putting the stars. They are not playing the badminton. This star is not playing the badminton. These are the people who are not playing badminton. Four, all right, now inside the circle, they play the badminton. What about outside the circle where I have put the stars there? They do not play the badminton. How many of them are there? 35 are there. Out of 35, 14 is here. 12 is here, another 3 is here. Therefore, I can always fill this. What is this particular gap? Why? The value of these 4 stars, the value of 4 stars, what I'm putting here is nothing but 35. Out of 35, 14 is here, another 12 here, which adds up to 26, right? Another 3 is here, which adds up to 29. Therefore, what is this particular number, the value of this particular star? Another 6. Hey, did you get this 6 here, friends? Did you get this 6 now? Is this 6, story of this 6 is clear? Because once it is clear, the remaining two numbers you can fill. The story of 6 is clear. This 35, now I am looking at the way it is given. I am looking 35 side. The moment I am looking 35 side, I am able to fill this number called 6. Making sense? Clear there? Keval is clear. Prashant is clear to others also. Is this making sense? Before we create the variables first, let's understand the information from both sides. Both sides. So I'm trying to understand it from both sides. Okay, good. Good. Let me do the next one. All right, those who did not catch up, catch up from the next one here. Catch up from the next one. Okay, let me go in here. 33 students do not play chess. Okay, so which means out of this circle. This circle is the people who play chess. What is this 33 then do not play chess? These 10 folks do not play chess. This number in the star, they do not play chess. These 12 folks do not play chess. These three folks also do not play chess. I put the stars in the blue color. These are the people who do not play chess. What is the value of that 33? Out of 33, 10 is here. Another 12 here adds up to 22. Another 3 is here adds up to 25. So out of 33, 10 plus 12, 22 plus 3, 25 is already there. Therefore, 33 minus 25. That is the value of that one particular star there, which is 8. I will fill this. That is what the meaning of 8 is. Similarly, another piece of information is given. Similarly, there is a third piece of information. Let me go to the third piece of information. Hey, what is that? So it says that 31 students do not play karate. So come out of karate. This is karate. Exclude, exclude this. So who are the people who do not play karate? This star. The people in this region, people in this region, and the people in this region. They do not play karate. All right, how much is that? 31. Out of 31, 10 is already here. 14 is already here, which adds up to 24. Plus 3 is already here, which adds up to 27. 27 subtract from 31. So, therefore, you will get another 4 there. So, therefore, this particular number becomes 4. Okay. Now, give a quick confirmation that, okay, you understood this 4 and 8 and 6 because pattern was same behind all three. Is this pattern clear? Can I assume that this pattern is clear? Quick, quick. All of you, this pattern is clear. Quickly, the pattern is clear to all of you. Very good. Pattern is clear. Nice. All right. Very nice. Okay. Now, all right. Now, all right. Now, so go to one of the circles and finish the middle one. Now go to this particular circle, finish the middle one there. Hey, this is 27. Out of 27, 14 is here. 6 is here. So adds up to 20. Plus 4 is here. 24. Therefore, write the middle one. Go to any circle. You may say that, sir, I will not go to cricket. I will not go to chess. I will go to badminton. From there also you will get. From anywhere you will get this. Okay. My point is what? What is that I am trying to say? Two things here. All right. Now, before you create variable, represent the information whatever is available see because you know that eight actual numbers are there eight actual because the rest are the support numbers right there are eight actual numbers are there which are important when it comes to venn diagram for three 
there are eight actual numbers even all right now by reading the information making some sense out of it if i can fill three four four of them or five of them four information i got or five i got then i have to create only four more variable you could fill five of them then you may have to create only three more variables because ultimately you have eight actuals out of which read the information to your capacity whatever the capacity that you have write as much represent as much as possible and the rest of it you kind of take a call so you need a variable or you don't need a variable what are the kind of questions there all that stuff it is not that you start with a variable no 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 that's wrong you never start a venn diagram with a variable you start with numbers after some time you open up to variables because you understand that you are badly stuck now nothing you can do nothing much you can do about it that's when variable you don't start by saying that i'm a small kid i will start with variables high school method nothing beyond high school method come on let's behave like grown ups we are grown ups we have some acute reasoning skills our mind has evolved to 20 years now you guys are 20 it evolved that much you are not a small kid so therefore use reasoning skills first do it first and then go ahead and try to represent the equations i'm not saying that the variables are not required sure when we go to the next level we do need variables but do we know do we start with variables message is clear we don't start with variables second thing whatever the number is given always remember that hey the flip side exists there is always a flip side exist will it help or not that i don't know but did it help in this question it did help it helped in this particular question more than the positive side if you look at these particular numbers right 35 both sides helped 35 also helped the flip side was 25 that also helped here both sides helped here also both sides helped fair enough now coming to the 47 more than 47 the flip side helped the 47 did not help what helped is the flip side of 47 43 did not help what helped is the flip side of 43 help what helped did 45 help no what helped the flip side of 45 help so think of flip side it may help it may not help okay my two points clear don't start with variable think about the flip side points clear yes no clear two points are clear these are the thinking pattern this is what we mean by approaches it's not that we look at something and everything we treat same no there are certain ways to handle them my two points are clear to everyone quick represent that put it in the chat is there a delay in the chat or something or you guys are taking time to chat how is it like Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. All right. Everybody is following. Perfect. Yeah. Very good. That's very smart. That's something encouraging. Whoever is listening to me, at least you generally say that. All right. You are able to understand the moment I say uh, I complete it. Right. So that's that's pretty encouraging. generally all right most of you do not want me to repeat it doesn't mean that okay i don't want to repeat if you ask that's not the idea but the way all right you kind of understand it is pretty good and encouraging that shows the sharpness of you from the other side that's very nice that's very encouraging from the trainer's point of view good very good you stand a good chance you guys have that potential it shows that you have the potential to take it to the next level very good so here comes another one so here comes another one let's take a look at this let's take a look at this yeah i'll give again the reflection time we'll do something all right now before this probably we will do this this might help us a little bit yeah let's do this then we will come back to the other one because we'll come back we'll just change the order preference yeah i will give about 2 3 minutes decide how do you go about this just reflection time right it takes much more than 3 minutes to crack it no doubt takes much more than hey you guys want to answer the questions there in the earlier one was it the is it also required okay by the way anyway answer it 1 2 3 just write three numbers something comma something comma something answer to question 1 answer to question 2 answer to question 3 in case you want to write it why don't you quickly write it there just in case you just want to fill it complete it complete the task you just type it type it in the chat type it in the chat i just want to understand that okay you get the right answers to them
type three numbers one comma second comma third and you want to leave a blank you don't know answer to one question not able to find out leave it blank but write all three of them in one go one comma second comma third just quickly calculate on a piece of paper and put it back one comma two comma three chart is right in front of you put the answer All of you put the answer that helps me to understand that how you are reading this Venn diagram fast. Yogesh, you need to correct some things there. Yogesh, not your answers are not impressive. Vipul, again, you, right, there is a problem in your answers as well. Okay, right. So you may have to go to the Venn diagram one, right? So you are again misunderstanding some of the languages. Kish, Kishan, you also. Kishan, you also have to go back. Vipul, Yogesh, Kishan, answers are not right. Answers are not right, so which means you are making a basic mistake in understanding. Okay, right. Cable and Sonakshi are fine. All right. So here we go. So because it says that badminton and karate, it, did, it does not say only badminton and karate. Now you don't put a word there, right? It says how many students play badminton and karate. That is badminton plus karate minimum. All right, minimum at least. The word is at least. So therefore you say that eight plus three. So here this is badminton. There is karate here. So here also there is a badminton, there is a karate, there is a cricket. But is there badminton and karate in both? Yes. Therefore, the answer to this particular question is 8 plus 3. Don't make the such mistakes, interpretation errors. 8 plus 3, which becomes 11. That's the answer to the first one. How many students do not, do not play all games? We said that all, all a total minus all. That is the answer to this question. Total minus all three. Total we know is 60. All three we know that is three. Therefore, 60 minus three, which becomes 57. That is the answer to the second question. Right? That is the answer to the second question. How many students do not play all is total minus all, which becomes 57. Find the difference between the number of students who play at least two games and at most one game. All right, fair enough. At least two games is four plus three plus eight plus six that is on one hand all right which becomes 21 all right which becomes 21 that is at least two games at least two games is 21 and at most one game at most one game which are the numbers i will mark it in green this 10 is at most one 14 comes under this 12 comes under this and three comes under this right that three also comes under this therefore 10 plus 14 24 plus 12 36 plus 3 39. Therefore, you are talking about the difference between 39 and 21, all right, which is nothing but which is nothing but 18. All right, 18 is the difference between the numbers, all right, which becomes the answer. Yeah, some of you gave it right, some of you somewhere stumbled, correct your thought process because I discussed about keywords. Under the keywords, I discussed about not playing all means what, how to interpret with only and without only, how to interpret, right? So this all was taught yesterday. So please go back to that particular video as well and watch it so that you don't make interpretation errors. We move forward to maxima, minima, all of it, and we start misinterpreting the information, then it will not make any sense. Learning has no meaning, right? Yeah, fair enough. Therefore, start from that first lecture, get the words right, get the understanding right, and then all maxima, minima will start making sense. Okay, back to this. Let's come back to this. Okay, I will go good, good three minutes. I will give good three minutes. I want you to think through and check how do you proceed? How do you organize the thoughts? How do you approach this? How do you organize the thought? How do you approach this? Check that pattern. In three minutes, decide. Go ahead. <clears throat>
राइट केबल या Okay, all right, fine. So you might have got that idea. Basically, I just want you to think. Some people create a chart out of this. So let they will chart a chart out of this. There are Daryl House. They will say that okay, there is a Sutter House exclusivity. Okay, what is this? I am talking about in this particular data. It is exclusive. The data there is a mutually exclusive. All right, exclusivity. That's what I am talking about. In the sense, if there is no commonality between certain data. So CAT also tests sets on again. It's a scaled down version of a CAT set. So cat set will always have some gaps. All right, some gaps are there where that maximum minima comes. Now look at this. There is nothing maximum minima about the questions. We already know that. Okay, always we should read the question before we go ahead and resolve the things. So then comes how do I start? Therefore, you never make that decision before reading some sample questions. You read the sample questions. There is no maxima. There is no minima. Nothing is there, which means it is just a plain bland set. Bland in the sense is what level one kind of set. Basically, level one kind of set. Some people. What is this? Okay, same exclusivity. We will take it and we will see from maxima minima perspective how does it make sense. First, let's learn this exclusivity. Again, I will repeat, don't start by writing the variables A, B, C, D. That is not the ideal approach. You want to write it, write it towards the end because all information is done. You look from both the sides, nothing much is making sense. That is when you open up to such thoughts, not right in the beginning. You don't do that right in the beginning. Fair enough. Let's see this once. So one way people handle like this: Daryl House, they write Sutter House, they write, and again inside the Daryl House, there are males and there are females. Between the males, there are vegetarians and non-vegetarian. Something like this. All right, now that's a structure. Is it wrong? Tree structure. Basically, we call this as a kind of a tree structure. Is that wrong? Nothing wrong. That's also nothing wrong about it, right? But we are only examining from the efficiency point of view. How can we do it little faster? better and then come back and write the variables in case we require certain variables fine so where all the exclusivity is coming we said that already there is an exclusivity here where is it coming first of all from the house's perspective either a student should belong to a daryl house or he should belong to a satar house right he should belong to one of these houses he can't be a member of both the houses because it's very clear either or either or means exactly one all right he should belong to exactly one of those houses Next one, there we are also talking about the gender. So we talked about male and female. There is a female and there is a male. Okay, that's the second parameter. That's a gender perspective, exclusive because nowhere it is mentioned that there is a commonality between the gender. Nothing like that. Okay, coming to the food preferences, either the person will be con con qualified under non-vegetarian or vegetarian. There cannot be a common between the two. Right, common in the sense one of the two. You there is nothing in between what we need to call them. Either a non-vegetarian, clearly classification, or vegetarian. You may say that, hey, in one circle, I will take for one circle, I will take the house. All right, you can say that, okay, Daryl house. All right. If it is a Daryl house, then what I am leaving here, Sutter house, I am leaving. So that is outside the box. That would be outside the box. Okay. I will take female as the reference for one of the circles. Therefore, out of the circle of female becomes what? Male. Okay. Then I will take this for the non vegetarian. Then out of this circle becomes what? Vegetarian. I will tell you, friends, listen to me very carefully. What do you mean? Then anybody's name comes here. He belongs to Daryl House. Anybody's name under this Daryl House. Anybody's name under this Daryl House. Anybody's name under this Daryl House. Because this is the circle of Daryl House. Now all these fellows are the circles of Daryl House. Fair enough. Then what about the outside one? Sutter House. This is Sutter House. If I write anybody's name here, Sutter House. If I write anybody's name here, falls to Sutter House. If I write anybody's name here, Sutter House. That is the meaning there. There are four regions for Daryl House. One region, second region, third region, fourth region. And there are four regions for the Sutter House. One, two, three, and four. Equally distributed. That is what technically happens. That is what the meaning of this particular Venn diagram is. Okay, let me explain through the other one now. Let me come to the female category. 
look at this this is the female circle all right this is a circle which means what if i write anybody's gender here they would be female if i write anybody's name here would be female if i write anybody's name here female if i write anybody's name here female what about the outside the circle they are male therefore gender wise male daryl house male tatar house male satar house male because what you wrote inside the circle is female then where are the males outside is going to be males all right outside is going to be males that is what you mean by all eight regions are different that is the meaning you are trying to say okay coming to the third parameter hey this is non vegetarian groups of non vegetarian which means if i write anybody's name here he would be a non vegetarian he or she right here also non vegetarian this is under non vegetarian this is under the influence of non vegetarian what about this then vegetarian outside ones vegetarian this is vegetarian this is vegetarian likewise every portion of these eight pieces we were talking about these eight pieces one piece second piece third piece fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth all eight pieces are distinct and they have a meaning okay did you understand what i wrote so far did you understand now should it be in my mind or should it write on the piece of paper that's your choice i just explained it what does it mean by exclusivity what does it mean in the circles right can i could i have done this before also i could have done this before as well i just said that okay every every set i will try to expose one point at a time this is what you mean by the exclusivity and this is the meaning of every cell if you look at this particular cell what is this the fellow slave if i write anybody's name here nickel all right nickel is one of the members here big nickel belongs to daryl house nickel is a male and nickel is a vegetarian that is the point there these are the three characters of nickel like this there will be some people out here hey have you under, are you understanding this friends is this clear what i wrote here inside these circles definition of these eight cells is this clear to everybody are you understanding this appeared before also whatever the sets we did from yesterday every cell has a definition like this it had it had all right but then there it was not necessary discuss to that depth there but now because of the exclusivity nature of this particular set because people branch into making the trees etc not required you can still think from that perspective and you can do the venn diagram here understood the definitions are clear are you guys learning something understanding something learning something here what's happening okay all right good at least three of you are understanding aman prashant and keval others have lost others is that making sense can you confirm because this is important this thought is important this thought is important good sonakshi is getting it i think kishan you may have to go back to the first lecture what i did yesterday yes yes sonakshi same for 2 by 2 variables also we can do the same absolutely same thing as long as the data is exclusive yeah bitu then what you got to do is you got to listen to the lecture from the beginning okay and you can also do the venn diagram one from yesterday right put cat ninjas 1.0 right cat ninjas 1.0 put that as cat ninjas 1.0 under this there is a venn diagram first lecture which was done yesterday watch that also once all right because there is a lot of confusion that i see in these chapters okay great all right you are kind of following now let's try and fill this particular chart now see listen very carefully because this set the tone for my venn diagram for four because venn diagram for four the problem with the venn diagram for four is what the sentences long run longer because there are four parameters when they try to four para cover four parameters or three out of four parameters information looks longer complex the sentence appears to be complex that is what makes venn diagram for four difficult not because drawing is difficult the language because you cannot create a simple sentence in venn diagram for four the moment we speak about venn diagram for four the sentences are going to be either compound sentences or complex sentences in english grammar you read three sides of sentences simple sentence compound sentence and complex sentence right yeah so generally in venn diagram for four it is all about compound and complex sentence when it comes to compound and complex sentence clearing that clutter all right now it it appears little cluttered clearing that clutter confuses the people hey how to clear the clutter simple guys run through the information listen now how to clear the clutter i will teach you here because there are enough enough compound and complex sentences here as well so how what do i do read the information and check all right now so whatever you write outside is a superficial information 200 
is all it now that's a guiding principle 95 students daryl house okay this is 95 that's just a guiding number it doesn't say much to me it is just a guiding number now after this you find that there are no more guiding numbers there now what you do look for the sentence which talks about all three parameters what is that it should talk about the house it should talk about the gender it should talk about the preference of food look for the sentences which talks about all three parameters and start there and then what look for the sentence which talks about two out of three parameters then look for the sentence which talks about one parameter Venn diagram for four also same look for the sentence which talks about four parameters then three parameters then two parameters then one parameter simple skill that is all you got to do okay if that is the case what are the sentence that i'm looking at third statement i look at it first why okay now it is males vegetarian daryl house done so i am writing this year 15 i am writing this year 15 done sorted one sentence is sorted 15 is done here why because i look for the statement see i don't have to read meticulously there look for the statement which covers three parameters because it's if it is a venn diagram for three it will have three parameters what if it's a venn diagram for four it would have four parameters start there then go to three parameters give that preference all right now always if it is a venn diagram for four four parameters followed by information with three parameters then two parameters then one parameter don't jump here and there no don't look at the information with two parameters and start cracking from there that's useless that's useless rather all right now you got to start here if it is not there then start here likewise this is a hierarchy just like you have the bodmas while you are doing the calculation you have the hierarchy right bodmas is the hierarchy in math what if there are multiple symbols you follow bodmas same in venn diagram this is the hierarchy same thing here that's what i precisely did i looked at this particular one i looked at the third statement hey it is talking about males vegetarian daryl house i came and plugged that particular number finished that number i got because i had eight numbers out of eight at least i got one number which means in case i want to create variables not more than seven variables that's the whole point there but before you create variables i said that plug as many numbers as you could if required then open up to variables and start making some sense out of those variables okay so therefore statement three is done now next one all it which is the other statement statement number seven statement number seven it talks about male non-vegetarian preference and daryl house male non-vegetarian preference and daryl house it is here this is 30 therefore this particular number is 30 i'm printing it there this is 30 fair enough okay two parts of sentences are done which means three now look for at least kind of two kind of all right now two all right now two all right, two variable kind of sentences there are many two variable sentences are many let me take the fourth one let me take the four, fourth one let, let me take the fourth one 50 students who are males or non-vegetarians you may think about this sir why did you choose that because just the cache memory we already talked about non-vegetarians here non-vegetarians and males is common so non-vegetarians and males is all non-vegetarians and males is kind of common right so that is kind of we look there so therefore i'm just kind of looking at this case hey, here also there is a non-vegetarian and there is a male house is not given Fair enough, there are 50 people. Out of 50 people, 30 belongs to Daryl House. What about the remaining 20? Remaining 20 belongs to Sutter House. That is the meaning there. Now the two variable parameters are start making sense. All right, two variable parameters will start making sense. I will explain this once again. Listen, all right, now go to the pieces of information and try to understand what you wrote use your cache memory and hold those numbers what you are writing and try to open up the other sentences from there let me explain this now look so where you stop was you said about males cache memory in the cache memory it is there all in cache memory and you are also talking about non-vegetarians and the daryl house that number is 30 now what the statement number four trying to tell us hey there are males how many 50 of them and there are non-vegetarians which means these males belong to either daryl house or they belong to sutter house all right same non-vegetarian group of non-vegetarians they belong to daryl or sutter right? daryl house how many 30 therefore sutter house how many 20 because total is 50 put that to perspective therefore you are saying that male not here male non-vegetarian satar house all right male non-vegetarian satar house you are saying that this number is going to be 20 why what did you do you first finish three parameters now you are looking at two parameters finally we'll come down to one parameter guys is this making sense is the structure clear to you you don't look at the data randomly here and there you look at the data with an objective in mind you have an objective in your mind three parameters two parameter one parameter that is the objective in your mind you don't simply look at here and there you don't simply look at here and there and getting confused no you don't right you already know whenever you are doing a venn diagram there is a clear objective in your mind okay mm. right right 
Yes, Kishan, these sentences will be complex sentences. Start getting used to long sentences, complex and compound sentences, right? The poor readers, they are not used to complex sentences. The moment the complex sentences come, the mind get entangled. Mind says that I'm giving up. It's very difficult to comprehend. Yes. So classic example is GMAT. Why GMAT verbal is tough? You find so many complex and compound sentences, long sentences. One sentence will run two lines. This is one GMAT sentence. So many commas in between, so many semicolons in between. One full, only two full lines you will read, then comes a full stop. Sometimes three lines also, three lines, then full stop. Hey, every mind cannot understand that. That's why we say that the language is difficult. Not because of the content there, because of the construction there. All right, the construction itself makes it difficult. Right, construction itself makes difficult. Point is what? Get used to, get used to such reading. Get used to, then it will not trouble you. It is only till the time you get used to. Swimming is difficult. For whom? For the fellow who doesn't know swimming. Once you get used to the swimming, it is no more difficult. Same here. Get used to complex sentences, long sentences. It is no more difficult. It is all habits. It's all about habits. Otherwise, this all right, this is just, just one line, half line here. I'm not still running from one end of the boat to the other end of the boat. All right, it is kind of a 75 or three quarters of a line. That should not actually trouble. That should not actually trouble. Any which ways. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's come to the next piece of information. All right. Let's now look at either statement five or statement six. Let's see what helps us better. 50 students of Sather House are either vegetarian females. I have absolutely no idea about females as of now. Therefore, I'm leaving that statement. So I just read this female here and I left it. Why did you leave it? Hey, I only spoke about male so far. There is a male here. There is a male here. There is a male here. So therefore, all it knows, so everything is about female. Therefore, I'm saying that I will leave that statement there. I will leave that particular statement there. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Now, let me come to the statement number six. Will that help me? Let me check. All right. Statement number five I read. I have absolutely no information about females. Therefore, I simply left it out there. I left it out there. Great. All right. So now let me go to now. Let me go to let me go to statement number six. You may try the second statement, six statement, whatever you can try. Statement six. 60 female students were either vegetarians who belong to Daryl House or non-vegetarian who belongs to Sutter House. Again, my problem remains same. This is also talking about females. Therefore, my problem did not end with the fifth and sixth statement because both of them kind of spoke about females to start with. Right. Both of them spoke about the females to start with. So therefore, it did not end my. OK, let me go to statement number three. Then second, second statement. Let me go to statement number two. 50 students who are vegetarians are members of Sutter group. 50 students who are vegetarians are members of Sutter group. All right. Uh, where is the 50 students who are vegetarians is a members of Sutter group. Now here, this is the vegetarian, which is the member of Sutter group, right, which is a member of Sutter group. Now, where is the vegetarians who are a member of Sutter group? Now, here is another vegetarian who is a member of Sutter group, right? Vegetarian. Now, this says that the sum of these two particular numbers is, sum of these two numbers is 50, right? The sum of these two numbers is 50. It didn't make much sense there. Okay, just quickly think. Any statement that helps us to crack this quickly? Uh, will that help? Anything to do with the male and the female part? Oh, here, here, here. There is a males also here. Okay, let I overlooked statement number five. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Read it carefully. I overlooked statement number five. Here are some males. That helps me because I have enough information about male. Of course, there is a female also. There is a male also. Let's do statement five once again. All right, because that's where we skip. And I kind of quickly overlook this males portion. It is there. My friends are here. As friends, not from the gender perspective, which we already did. We know that. 50 students of the Sathar house. Now read carefully. Number one, Sathar house. Vegetarian females vegetarian females or non-vegetarian males now let me come here let me first go to the satar house let me go to satar house Veget non-vegetarian males let me identify it is here i am putting a big circle satar house non-vegetarian males are here that is one satar house vegetarian females satar house vegetarian females are here I'm putting the circle there. Satar house vegetarian females are here. Hey, what is the value of these two numbers? The value of these two numbers is 50, which implies out of which 20 is already here. Therefore, how much I should be writing here? 30. How much I should be writing here? 30. Okay. Is this making sense? This is clear, friends. This is clear. So because we had so much information about the males, there is an information about males in statement 5. Crack it from there. Crack it from there. Is that okay? 
I hope it is it should be making sense there. It should be making sense. I use the statement five because there was a mention of males there and we had already sufficient information about males and then we hooked on to that and try to separate that out. Okay, what are the two regions here? One, Satar house is common. Satar house is common. Vegetarian females is nothing but this cell. Vegetarian females is one circle cell. And then non-vegetarian males of the Satar house, it is here. Some of these two numbers should be 50. We already had this 20. Therefore, I wrote another 30 out here. Another 30 out here. Fair enough. Now, let me go to the next question. Like next, I'll let next statement. Now, the statement number 6 will make sense. Statement 6 would say, statement 6 would make some sense. Let's check. 60 females who were either vegetarian belonging to the Daryl house. I'll let veg, females, vegetarian, Daryl house. Mark that. Female, vegetarian, Daryl house. It is here. Female, vegetarian, Daryl house or non-vegetarians who belongs to, all it Daryl house, all it otherwise, female students, non-vegetarians here, next time, female students, non-vegetarians, Satar house, female students, non-vegetarians and Satar house here, female students, non-vegetarians and Satar house, author is trying to say that some of these two values is 60. Some of these two particular values is going to be 60. Okay, will that help me? All right, will that help me to crack something there? Okay, now listen. Now, uh, no, it will not help. That will not help. Okay, now let me go to the second statement also. Fair enough, no worries. Let me go to the second statement. Let me go to the second statement. 50 students who are vegetarians, 50 of students who are vegetarians, are members of Satar house. Okay, that helps me. 50 students who are vegetarians are members of Satar house. I will come to this later. Look here. These are the vegetarians of the Satar vegetarians. 50 students who are vegetarians are members of Satar house. This and this tick. Two ticks here. I'm putting the circle. 60 students are the members of the Satar house who are vegetarians. 30 is already here. Therefore, I would write another 20. Statement 2 out of that 50. Therefore, I would write another 20 in this cell another 20 in this cell okay that should that should all right now so give that understanding now listen to me very carefully this also opens up of using this 95 i'm putting a star listen to this carefully this 95 so which means this entire cell is 95 95 is sum of four numbers this 200 sum of four cells is 95 plus i have a 30 okay plus 30 i have another 20 that is 20 here then i have another 20 i'm writing this plus i have one value called as x that would be equal to 200. I don't know the breakup of these four cells. I don't know the breakup of these four cells, but the four cells are 40, 95. And one cell is 30. I'm recording it here. Okay. Another cell is 20. I'm recording it here. There is outside cell, which is 20. I'm recording it here. One cell value, I don't know, which is X. I can find that out. I can find that out. 95 plus 30 plus 20 plus 20, all right, which is nothing but 165. Therefore, that X value will be equal to remaining 35 because that has become 165. I would write this, hey, this particular value is 35. So that is from where? That is from this value called as 95 because I was seeing there is one number outside 95 there. That simply gives me that understanding to it, okay? So that, that kind of gives that understanding. Fair enough. Okay, done. Now come to the sixth statement and close it. What is the sixth statement trying to say? This value plus this value is 60. Some of these two values is 60. That's what the sixth statement tried to say, which we already marked it. Our cache memory is working. That is 60 out of 60. 35 is here. Therefore, the remaining 25 is here. Therefore, the remaining 25 is here. Okay, from there, I can come back to this particular circle and identify what is this 95. Out of 95, 15 is here, 25 is here, which is 40. 40 plus 30 is 70. Therefore, remaining 20 would fall under this category. Okay, not a difficult one. I gave a start and then I went on to fill it because it's pretty simple. Idea of this particular set is what? Just to tell you that, hey, exclusivity will come in the picture. Wait, I'll let, watch out for the exclusivity, number one. Number two, what I'm trying to say, when there are many compound and complex sentences, quite a few, because I'll let, who are, comma, this, that, all of that. Whenever compound and complex statements come in the picture, always go in the reverse order. More variables, three variables, then approach two variables, then approach one variable. Right. So this is the approach there. These are the two things that we kind of learn from this particular set. The next thing is, hey, always remember that every cell that you write has a clear definition. It has a clear definition. You can always keep that at the back of your mind. When in when you're in trouble, you can use the you can draw back your attention to that particular definition and you can try to close this. Okay. Is it kind of clear? You can do this set once again. 
you can go back pause this and try doing these the try doing some of the sets that you have just listened but you want to practice that try doing that set once again at least you will learn the approach and the method points are very clear today what did we learn already we said that hey don't start with variables never ever start with variables no variables is the last thing that you do second thing is always look for the flip side of the information look for the flip side of the information all right third thing that we learned here is exclusivity and look out for the complex sentences whenever the complex sentences come or a general rule of doing the venn diagram is what top side down that is three variables to the two variable sentences to the one variable sentence these are the kind of some learning points out there okay did you all learn something here did you all learn something today only two sets we could do kind of but did it make sense you understood when to use variable when not to use variable that point is clear don't start with variable and mess it up never ever start with variable variable is the last thing that you do message is clear the message is loud and clear learning points are clear everyone learning points clear to all of you say yes no sonakshi mohit aman okay sumit good 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 all right all right i think we are kind of running out of time so watch out for these lectures of mine which are coming up in the next one or two days so today at 4:30 pm it's not 5:30 4:30 that is in another one and a half hours time from now 4:30 we'll discuss some of the ways to handle the dilr section because a lot of people there is a kind of misunderstanding when they are approaching the dilr so let's try and see all right so if if you if anybody is particularly weak or struggling in dilr more than weak if you are struggling all right attend this particular lecture you can ask some questions as well night ten again we will continue our discussion on the multiplier we will see how this helps in profit loss discount it will have big time we will do typically i will open up right at the cat level some of the beautiful questions at the cat level using the multiplier and tomorrow again we will speak a little more about the quantitative aptitude struggling a little bit in quant with respect to scores and then therefore with only 3 months to go should i leave some topics if that is the case how should i go about my preparation that's what we will talk about it tomorrow at 10:30 in the morning and then again we'll have usually at 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock our regular lecture relationship all right watch out for this join me at 4:30 pm so we will discuss that We'll discuss this. I'm planning to launch a course. I'm not sure either algebra or PNC, one of the two. So that I'm planning on the on the Apply app. That's an academy app. That's at 11ish in the morning. 11 in the morning. So if you have not downloaded the app, maybe this is the time you can download this particular app and you can run through this. If you are liking the content, that would be encouraging to me as well. If you are liking what we are discussing, some of our content, put the like button before you leave. and you can also share the link with others so that others also come and join us and we can do the lectures together yes all right that would be encouraging and you can also leave your comment online offline if you are doing it offline sometimes going back and doing this you can come back and put it in the offline comment i will try and respond to that okay so that brings us to the end of the today's lecture okay now here are some of the new plus batches which have started just yesterday day before kind of couple of days back one for cat 21 the other one for cat 22 watch out there is another 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 structured course starting on 4th of september uh, that is for cat and omet 22 if you are preparing for this yeah some of the very good all right now these are some of the very well known industry in the industry there are well known uh, well known all right well known trainers are taking them you can consider some of these courses which would be definitely useful to you so that's the end of it and any comments here you can put this you can put the comments i will wait for a minute Oh thanks thanks Kushagra thanks you are keeping tab of statistics super <laughs> thank you for that thank you for that all right so any comments there anything that you want to put you can put i will try and answer otherwise you can go back and do some of these sets once again learn the right approaches of dealing with it i will see you guys at 4:30 uh with the strategy session Bye till then have lunch take some rest join me back at 4:30 stay blessed god bless you god bless you god bless you